I looked upon the rotting sea and drew my eyes away. I looked upon the rotting deck and there the dead men lay. I looked to heaven and tried to pray. But before a prayer had gushed, a wicked whisper came, came in, and come made in. my heart. I must be freezing. If I could just give you a couple of my essays. My contribution to this evening's entertainment. How are you? Good. How's the party? Isabel. Good. Who is that? Oh, that's Shelley. Beautiful, isn't he? That was the journey. He's a radical poet who thinks poetry should Good. reform society and so is often in trouble. <laughs> Sounds like quite a catch. No. Come, let me introduce you to some friends. There is someone I would like you to meet. Good luck. Percy, may I present Mary? Baxter, Mary? come and join uh, us. This is Coleridge. Uh, Mary, could you put these nameplates up, please? Uh, let me get those you. <laughs> I'm Percy Bysshe Shelley. I'm Mary Wollstonecraft Godwin. Of course. Baxter mentioned you'd be joining the family here. I am a great admirer of both your parents' work. I hope I can entrust you to this task, Mr. Shelley, or will you try to incite me to revolution? My reputation precedes me. Wouldn't you welcome a change from the deadening quiet? I've grown accustomed to it. In London, I spend most of my time in my father's bookshop, so the deafening quiet is not as dramatic as you may think. Baxter does his best with these gatherings. Any lover of poetry will surely find a great thrill in the work that has been presented here. Surely you are a, a writer yourself? Not really. Nothing substantial. I hope to, someday. And what, may I ask, would you constitute as substantial in your eyes? Anything that curdles the blood and quickens the beatings of the heart. Ah, oh, perfect! Now, may I steal Mr. Shelley away? We would love a poem, sir. Certainly, sir. <laughs> 